Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I have the Lego EB3 firefighting robot. Now, I mean, nothing makes it special as far as firefighting. It's just a regular educator bot. But what I did is I modified it several different ways to make it a firefighting robot. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Uh, before we get to the video, I just wanted to update you guys on the Helpful Home Video Contest or the competition that we had where Shun took first place. Congratulations, Shun. I just wanted to, before you know everybody forgot about it, just to be able to show you the t-shirt that um, Shun wanted and I was able to get it shipped out to him. It's still in the shipping process being sent to him, but this is what the shirt looked like. So if you guys want a shirt like that, check out my merch shelf below this video. And again, if you guys type in Hino Bot, you'll get 20% uh, off of anything that you guys purchase. So I want to congratulate Shun again. Your t-shirt will be, you know, getting to you hopefully very quick. And if you guys want a t-shirt like that, again, check out uh, my merch shelf below this video. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so I definitely want to caution you and give you Mr. Hino's warning I'm going to be using fire. So, you know, if you're going to copy anything that I do in this video, make sure you get your parents permission or you're just careful because, you know, fire can get out of hand real quick. You know, I don't want you guys trying this out and then leaving to watch TV and then coming back and something's on fire. So definitely be aware. And Mr. Hino is giving me my, my warning. Just be careful anytime you're working with fire. OK, so today what I did is I thought of different ways that we can make this robot a firefighting robot. I mean, um, over the last few months, California, where I live, has just been devastated by fire. So my students have definitely, we've been talking about firefighting, different things that you know can um, keep people safe during firefighting. So I've left you guys a link to a video that we watched about firefighting robots, because we're always looking to keep people safe and robots are definitely a way that we can, you know, do certain dangerous things and still keep people safe. So Jeff, definitely, if you get a chance, check out that video because we were just amazed, like, no way, that's really cool. So today I thought that I would get this robot to be a firefighting robot and different ways that you can fight fires. So this guy is definitely ready. So what I want to do is basically show you the different ways that I tried to put out fires with this robot. And then, you know, you can make up your own mind whether, you know, something like this can really be used in real life. So with this EV3 robot, it was able to put out fires. But, you know, we have to think of different ways that this could actually be realistic for real robots to do. So let's go ahead and go to the first way that I put out a fire. OK, this is going to be called the snuff out. So you guys know that fire needs oxygen here. So this robot's going to basically starve the fire out just by, you know, suffocating it without um, letting it have any oxygen. So I'm going to go ahead and light this candle. Again, be careful for those of you that, you know, need some permission for fire. Okay, so what this program is going to do, it's going to cover up the candle. Um, I have it back up just so that the cup can stay level and not let so much air get into it. And then it will have about a 15 second wait block just to give it enough time to snuff out the flame. And then it will lift up the cup and reveal to you that it did put out the fire. So let's check this out. Okay, we don't know what's going on under, underneath this cup here. There is a little bit of room down there, but I think we might have 
suffocated the oxygen from this fire. Let's go ahead and, and there we go. So the firefighting robot here put out the fire and it is gone. Great job, firefighting robot. Okay, another way that the firefighting robot here can put out a fire is what we call the stomp. So this robot will basically stomp out this fire. And again, you want to want to be careful. You don't want to have a candle with a hot wax because it could end up splashing that hot wax. So this candle can't have hot wax. It's just, you know, there's no place for the wax to go here or build up. So we're going to go ahead and watch this robot here stomp out this fire. Here we go. I had that on a repeat for five times, but all it needed was the one time. Pretty good, huh? And there we go. That fire is out. Beautiful job, firefighting robot. Okay, you truly couldn't call this a firefighting robot if it didn't have water. So this robot here has a tiny water bottle. And it will, um, when it gets to the candle, it will... Um, lower this attachment here and I actually um, took a hammer and put a little little tiny hole at the end of this cap here so uh, I have it a weight block for about 10 seconds for the water to come out to put this flame out and then it'll back up so let's check this out all right so there's our fire all right here we go Ooh, did you hear that? And that is out. Ooh, you see the smoke? And that fire is out. Okay, I'm going to try this again just so that I can prove that the water is putting out the candle and not the bottle hitting the flame. So let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, I had to give it a little bit of help, but that's okay. Just wanted to show that the water could come out and put the flame out. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Mr. Hino's Lego EV3 firefighting robot. It was just cool to, well, you know, I don't want to consider myself a pyromaniac, but I just like fire and being able to put it out. I mean, who hasn't thought of becoming a firefighter in their life? Haven't you? Okay. So anyway, I just um, hope you enjoyed the way that this robot could put out fires. Again, hopefully you're safe if you try this. Um, get your parents' permission. Have something ready like a water bottle or something. Just um, be alert. Be careful because I don't want to be responsible for you guys burning the house down. Okay, guys? All right. So if you get a chance, check out again that firefighting robot um, video that I put in the link or in the description because it's really cool and it gets students to think about dangers. It think you know they get to think about different strategies and ways that this can keep people safe. So if you get a chance, check that out. All right, guys. Hopefully you're still staying safe, having fun with robotics. I am Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys. Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.